Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Arch Linux versus Ubuntu. And I'm just going to kick off the installers. You'll notice that with Arch, it's just Arch install. It's a script that will run through the Arch install options for us. To where over on the Ubuntu side, we've got our Flutter installer. So I'll just run through these options. And the Ubuntu installer does have an update. So we'll go ahead and let that run. So we'll run through the Arch side. For mirrors, you can go in here and you can change your region. And that was recommended uh, by a subscriber in the last video to go in here and do this. So we'll check United States and go back. Disconfiguration, use your best effort. Select a hard drive, press enter. We'll go with X4. We won't do encryption, bootloader. Rub's fine. Swap. I'm going to do no for swap. Root password. Put in a super secret password. User account. Another super secret password. Profile type, we want desktop. And since we're comparing it to Ubuntu, we'll go with GNOME. Back. We'll go with Pipewire for audio. Kernels, Linux is fine. Additional packages, we don't need any additional packages. We'll go with Network Manager. And install. And then we'll go over to the Ubuntu side and we'll kick this back off. English, wired connection, default installation. Erase the disk. Choose your time zone. We'll go with the dark theme. All right, so they're both installing, and I will speed this portion of the video up. All right, and the installer's finished for both. So I'll go ahead and restart each and I will pick back up at the first login. All right, we've made it to the first boot. So we'll go ahead and log in to each. And you'll notice off the bat, the arch has a vanilla gnome look and feel to it. There's not gonna be any updates either. On the Ubuntu side, we'll just do skip for the online accounts. No to the telemetry. And this always takes a little second or two to get past this screen for some reason. And we'll click on wait. Uh, we don't want any location services. Ready to go. All right. And then typically if I wait around here the system updates will eventually prompt me, but we won't wait for that. We'll just go into software updater. And 
and it should have some updates for us. Yeah, it does. So about 45 on the base, characters 15. So we'll go ahead and download that. Alright, and the updates did finish. I'll go ahead and restart it. Alright, and now we'll do a restart test. Both do not have any updates pending. So it should be a fair test. side the um, grub menu did have a five second countdown there so it may have been faster actually on the arch side as I was watching them all right and for the driver manager on the arch Linux side you actually install your Nvidia proprietary drivers during the arch install script on the Ubuntu side you've got additional drivers that you can go into And it would be listed here, additional drivers. You'd have your NVIDIA driver here. All right, and we'll take a look at the system monitor. On the Arch Linux side, we've got one and a half gigabytes. And we're just sitting idle. On the Ubuntu side, we've got 1.2 gigabytes. All right, and here's HTOP. On the Arch Linux side, we've got 1.2 gigabytes of memory. On the Ubuntu side, we've got 900 megabytes. All right, for the file managers on the Arch side, we have files 45.2.1. On the Ubuntu side, files 45.rc. Okay, and for the system settings, they both, both have GNOME. So we'll go into system details. And the main differences here that I see are the versions of GNOME. For some reason on the Ubuntu side, it's telling me not available. It is using Wayland, which Arch does support as well. Uh, but the kernel is 6.6.10 on the Arch side to where on the Ubuntu side it's 6.5. All right, we'll take a look at Firefox. I did have to go download this via Pac-Man on the Arch Linux side. Uh, depending on who you are, you may like the fact that Firefox is pre-installed um, or you may like the fact that you get to go pick which browser you want. So just something to keep in mind on Arch, you have to go get your browser. On Ubuntu, it's pre-installed. But on the Arch side, we're running Firefox 121 and that's from Pac-Man. And on the Ubuntu side, we're running Firefox 121 and that is the snap package. All right, and to install software on each, on the Ubuntu side, all we simply do is go into the App Center and type in the software we're looking for. In this example, we'll use Inkscape. And it's got the icon and an easy install button and a gallery and tells you what version, whatnot. On the Arch Linux side, we have the archlinux.org slash packages. We type in the name of the software we're looking for, Inkscape, and then we'll do a sudo pacman-s and then we'll type in the name of the package, so Inkscape. Type in our password, yes to install. Okay, so now if we go and type in Inkscape, you can see we've got the Inkscape software to where on the Ubuntu side, I'm just going to click on install, type in my password. All 
And on the arch side, I'll go ahead and just close out of this so we can single in on our Inkscape app. All right, so on the Ubuntu side, I'm just gonna click on open. Close out of the App Center. And you see we've got Inkscape on both. Just a different way to get it. All right, for the system trays, on the Ubuntu side, we've got our power, our lock, our settings, screenshot, volume, network connection, our profile, night light, and then darker light. And then the time, which got the calendar and the do not disturb mode. And then our activities button that's been replaced with the icon and you can switch between workspaces. And since they both you've used GNOME, it's gonna be basically the same, just a different color scheme. On the arch side, power, lock, settings, screenshot, volume, network connection, night light, light or dark theme. And then our date and time with notifications, calendar, do not disturb mode. And then again over here, we can switch our workspaces using our mouse wheel. All right, we'll do a Neo fetch on each. And it's not pre-installed, so we'll go ahead and get that. Guessing it's gonna be the same way on the Ubuntu side, and it is. You'll notice on the Ubuntu side, it kinda helps me go along, so like, NeoFetch wasn't installed, hey, here's the command to get it, right? It's a little bit more user-friendly than Arch, but that's to be expected. Arch is known for being light, and basically building it yourself. All right, we'll do a Neo Fetch on the Ubuntu side and a Neo Fetch on the Arch side. And again, kernel 6.6.10 to where Ubuntu's got 6.5. And packages on the Arch side, we've got 767, and there's a Pac Man. On the Ubuntu side, we've got 1500 Debian, 12 snaps, and the GNOME version is slightly higher on the Arch side, 45.3, to where Ubuntu's got 45. And the memory usage is about one and a half on the Arch side, to where on the Ubuntu side it's about 985. And that's just sitting here idle. All right, and as far as release cycle, Arch is a rolling distribution. So essentially you run your sudo pacman syu to do all your updates. On the Ubuntu side, a major release releases every two years in April. And it's got the format of year, month. And then every six months in between those LTS releases, we get an interim release. So this 2310 is an interim release. And we're expecting 2404 in April of this year. All right, we'll take a look at the wallpapers. Just right click, change background. I'll expand these out. Since Arch has got the vanilla install of GNOME, there's not very many wallpapers to choose from, but we'll just, we'll just pick a new one just to change it up. And on the Ubuntu side, I, I tend to like this purple one. And that's gonna do it for today's video. If you found this video helpful and informative, here are some additional videos. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.